What's up everybody, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to create Lumetri Color presets in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now just to be clear, we're not going to be going over how to create LUTs or how to install LUTs. This isn't a tutorial about how to color correct or how to color grade. It's strictly about how to create presets in Premiere's Lumetri Color panel. So let's get started here. So the first thing you want to do is go to Window, Workspaces, and select the Color Workspace. This is Premiere's default color workspace. And once you've selected this, if you can't see the Lumetri Scopes and Lumetri Color Panel, you can go to Window and select those panels individually because these are the two main panels that you need when you're working in this workspace. Now, what I've got here is I have an interview shot that I did a little while ago, and I want to create some custom looks on this shot. And again, I'm not going to be going too crazy with the color correction here. I'm just going to show you some down and dirty stuff so that we can just have some looks to save. So the first thing we want to do is look at our workspace here. So this is the Lumetri color panel. We have six different sections with all these different parameters we can work with and it goes from basic correction tools all the way to vignette, secondary color correction options, and a bunch of creative preset looks that they have. So if you open up some of these you can see what I'm talking about. There's just a ton of different options here. We can adjust the exposure in the midtones, the whites, the blacks, shadows. We have curve options, RGB curves, uh, just a ton of different stuff. And all of our secondary color correction, if we want to select a specific color and then change only that color, it's just really great, the options that we have here. And also you have your scopes panel, which has a lot of there's there's a lot of things you can do with this panel you can customize it pretty extensively so if you if I wanted to see just a vector scope I could turn off everything else and really have uh, and I can customize what specifically I want to see on those on these particular scopes so there's it's really a lot of versatility with this panel so let's get started here now the first thing I want to do is I want to show you what happens when you start working with the Lumetri color panel, when you start making corrections. So I'm just gonna start off with a simple white balance on my clip here. I have my clip selected so I can use the, the tools here. So I've done a simple white balance, there's a little bit of a change here. But now if I go into the effect controls panel, you can see the Lumetri color effect has been added. So this is how this works. The second you start to edit with the Lumetri color panel, it throws this effect on the clip that you're working on. And we're looking at the same six uh, sections here. So this is essentially the panel is just a different way to look at all of these attributes and parameters which are already in our effect controls panel. So if you feel better editing here in the effect controls panel, be my guest. But they made the Lumetri color panel so that you can visually look at a lot of different parameters which is it's a much better workspace. So let's go down here and just quickly hit the auto button. It's gonna make some auto adjustments and let's go ahead and save this out. So to save out a preset, you go to your panel menu here, and then you go down to Save Preset. And then I'm going to name this Look 1 Auto. And hit OK. And let's go ahead and make two more. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this last Lumetri color effect. And we'll just go ahead and start from scratch. So for this one, let's say we want to do um, let's do like a low contrast look. So I'm going to grab and just do another quick white balance. Then I can go to creative. And in creative, we have a lot of different options here. There's actually, in fact, a bunch of different preset looks that we can pull from here. And if you want to start from a specific look and then work off of that look, that's always an, a great way to work. You can change the intensity and tweak a, a different a professional look. But I'm going to go ahead and just make my own adjustments. So I'm going to bump up this faded film effect. This kind of washes out the shadows. Um, we'll turn down the vibrance, desaturate it a little bit, turn the sharpen down, and let's just go with this. And actually, we can go into the curves panel here. Maybe we can do even more of a kind of a reverse S. This is really washed out. As I said, this is not a color grading or color correction tutorial. It's a, pre it's a preset tutorial. So now let's save out this preset. Look to low contrast. Select OK. Now let's go ahead and delete this. Start over again. And now, now let's do more of a high contrast look. So I'm going to go ahead, white balance this, close this. And 
I'm going to go ahead and leave our creative section alone and I will take the curves and just do a simple S curve to boost up our give us a little more of punch high contrast and then I'll go back and maybe boost the exposure a little bit and again this is what our scopes are for we can use our scopes here so let's say I'm happy with this we could even add a vignette which I don't recommend but let me just show you for purposes of the tutorial we have a vignette um, we could make some adjustments with our color wheels or do some secondary color correction I'm not going to do any of that so now we'll save out our third look save preset look three high contrast and hit OK so now where are these presets let's say I'm gonna zoom out here and I have some additional clips here that I want to apply these this is just other interview clips that have not been color corrected or graded but we have this first clip the way we want it so let's say we want to apply one of our presets to these so if you look over here in our effects panel right away we have a presets folder if I open this up you can see we have look one look two look three and I'm gonna full screen this panel with the tilde key and we even have these visual references here and you, with the title look one look two you can see our low contrast look look three you can see the high contrast so it displays and give us gives us this cool visual reference here so let's say we want the high contrast look so I could grab this preset and it's as simple as any other preset drag and drop straight over and there we go we've got our look here or if I wanted to change them all to a different one I could go over to this one let's say we want just a simple auto and there's an auto effect or another way to do it is if you create an adjustment layer you could go and create an adjustment layer and apply all of those color correction effects to that adjustment layer oh it's a very small adjustment layer and sorry I'm gonna go ahead and delete our original Lumetri effect that's on the clip but I could apply these presets to my actual adjustment layer and then I can stretch this over all my clips so it it keeps me from having to apply the preset to all of the individual clips and last but not least be aware that you have a bunch of default presets here that come stock with Adobe Premiere and a bunch of them are great and what's great about them is that they have a bunch that are specifically designed for camera models specific camera models now I shot this interview with the Canon 7D and they happen to have if you go under speed looks cameras they happen to have a Canon 7D folder here of presets which is great these are specifically designed for this so I'm gonna see here and now we have our references and let's say we want to do a black and white let's just do this noir uh, let's do the noir 1965 so I can scroll down noir 1965 boom there we go and the other cool thing is I can go back and I can do I could make any adjustments to this preset and then again save out my own preset so there you go saving out your own presets in Adobe Premiere Pro's Lumetri color panel if you enjoyed the video, let me know in the comments section. Give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend. I'm working hard on future tutorials, so be sure to subscribe to the channel. Or you can visit my website at boonlovesvideo.com to check out more content. If you have a tutorial request, just shoot me a message and I'll create something specifically for you. Alright, I'll see you next time.